All right, just watched Black Adam uh, opening night, and here are my thoughts. So, if you want to watch The Rock be super serious and futuristic Middle East Wakanda exposition dump, then this is your movie. All right, so as far as the other DC movies, I really like Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Director's Cut, the Zack Snyder's Justice League, and Wonder Woman. I really do not like the first Suicide Squad, and I hated Wonder Woman 1984. So there's some cool stuff in this. Uh, the action, there's some occasionally really cool action with really fast and brutal effects. Um, Black Adam kills people really effectively and really fast. Okay, actually, I think that's it. So here's 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 the rest here. So uh, Amanda Waller, the lady from Suicide Squad, she doesn't really work in this scale of movie. She works more, in my opinion, better with like the Suicide Squad size people. Uh, at one point, a character says, "This is gonna be fun," and I feel like he's telling us that, and it's like, "Oh man, if you need to tell me that, that's a problem." Like, if you contrast it to when Anakin says, this is where the fun begins. So, when Anakin says that, I truly believe that that's what he thinks, and that he's going to have fun. But when the guy says, this is going to be fun in this movie, it's just like, oh, corporate told you to tell us that, didn't they? Alright, one of the characters says, before they get into their X-Men jet, he says, we don't need passports, we're, we're the Justice Society. It's like, oh, so dumb. Uh... And then they get in an X-Men jet and fly out from under the ground from an old estate place. It's just like, oh, this is like X-Men right here. Holy cow, Black Adam shocks a dude until all of his pieces fall off. He just shocks and shocks and shocks him and he just falls apart. <laughs> really disgusting. Uh, he rips an arm off and there's a lot of blood splattery noises in the opening uh, action scene. Also, putting a clip of a really good movie in your movie doesn't necessarily help your movie be better. So after a really big action scene towards the beginning, uh, Black Adam's walking towards a vehicle and the people inside it slowly roll up their window like it's going to keep them safe. And this is after they have personally watched him kill uh, a lot. And as they're rolling up their windows, I'm just like, oh, this is, hu this, this is trying to be funny and this humor is not landing. This is really dumb. And then later there was more jokes and I was like, oh man, this movie is like supposed to have like a lot of humor in it and it, the humor is not landing. Um, there's, there's some humor about uh, catchphrases and I'd say about one fifth of that humor actually is funny. There's, there's a couple funny parts with the catchphrases, but for the most part, it's, it's really does not land humor wise. Uh, but here's a cool quote from Black Adam that I like. He says, I was a slave before I died, then I was reborn a god. I kneel before no one. So he's like, yeah, that's a cool line. All right, there's some generic metal music during the action, so there you go. Uh, the Adam guy is just like Ant-Man from Marvel. There's no chemistry in the characters in the Justice Society. Um, I'd say the best chemistry is probably between Black Adam and the little boy who helps him out. Uh, there's some, like... Uh, conflict between the Hawkman guy and Black Adam, and that is not convincing at all because I just can't even imagine that the Hawkman guy could hold a candle to Black Adam. I mean, The Rock's neck is like the size of three of my heads. Uh, there's a couple really rousing anti-imperialism speeches, so those were really um, just really great. And then uh, apparently Shazam is a thing. I, I have not seen Shazam. I want to, um, but apparently that's a thing, so maybe I'm missing something by not having seen that. All right, overall, this movie was incredibly meh. Uh, I would much rather watch San Andreas or Moana with The Rock again, or Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Director's Cut, or Zack Snyder's Justice League, or Wonder Woman. But this one was not very good. It was just a super, uh, it was like under two hours, but it felt like four hours, and it just was a constant exposition. I mean, it had some cool action, but the humor didn't land, the character interactions didn't land, special effects were good, um, there was a couple cool like pop songs, like they played uh, uh, some Smashing Pumpkins, which I really was surprised at and liked. But yeah, no, I did not like it. I don't think I was the audience, though, because I wasn't um, super excited to see it. Um, okay, so I'm now going to talk about the Superman part, so you can skip it. 
uh, or turn it off, but that's kind of the reason I was there. So here's what he said. Three, two, one. Superman shows up in front of Black Adam, and he says, It's been a while since anyone has made the world this nervous. Black Adam, we should talk. And then that's the end. So, I mean, it was really cool seeing Henry Cavill as Superman. He looked really good and shiny and beautiful like he always does. Uh, but, yeah, I'm wiggling around because I'm, I'm cold. It's really it's kind of cold out here. So, um, didn't don't recommend it. Recommend it. Didn't like it. Uh, I, was, I was glad I saw it because I want to give the DC movies a chance. But uh, this isn't the right direction. Oh, quick note on slow-mo. So, there's a lot of slow-mo in the movie. And it felt like corporate mandated slow-mo like um focus group slow-mo like we should we should do slow-mo because we need it it wasn't it didn't feel like artistic slow-mo it was like it was almost how jupiter ascending felt compared to other wachowski movies like the the matrix or speed racer jupiter ascending felt like an imposter movie and this black adam felt like occasionally it was trying to be a Zack snyder movie which which it can't be so anyway didn't like it. I love The Rock in almost everything I've ever seen him in. Um, his his smile can melt anybody's heart. But uh, this movie this movie was not not very good. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know what you think if you've seen it. And uh, yeah, that's it.